We all know a ghost story or two, and everyone has a friend of a friend whose friend has seen one once. But where does fact meet fiction? When does the para become normal? And where does Freddy Krueger get such horrible jumpers? Follow us, because all will be revealed. Supernatural is unfashionable now. People now prefer to say paranormal, meaning that it isn't beyond nature, supernature, but it is something which is not happening regularly. It's not normal. It happens abnormally, so it, it's paranormal. We're dealing here with impersonal entities, whatever they are, which take on a personal convention according to the ideas of the viewer. Nowadays, you won't see fairies in Ireland, but you might have reports of shining visitors from outer space in flying saucers. Why are we so intrigued with the whole thing of witches and also, I mean, things like uh, Dracula and Frankenstein? What is it about them that we find particularly intriguing? We're living on the edge of great danger. And we're living also in times when there are a lot of very evil people around. And so these are sort of parables to um, deal with our interest in the subject and somehow to reassure us. Hopefully it all comes right in the end. How about white witches now? Everybody thinks that a witch is somebody in a big pointy black hat singing fee fi fo fum or something, you know? I mean, are white witches just normal people that have psychic powers or what are they? Well, modern witches are a revival from the 1950s or 60s. Before that, the whole concept of witches had died out. But in earlier times, right up to the 19th century, there were always wise men and wise women in the village who would know all the herbs to cure people and would, would have apparently psychic ways of healing people. Would you advise people or not, like dabbling in things like Ouija boards and seances? I mean, can that be a bit of fun or are they generally to be steered clear of? I think one should steer clear of it. Leave it to people who are mature and who can investigate these things with common sense. Uh, when the kids pick it up, I think they get into very deep water indeed. Because after all, a lot of the interest in our cult is just another form of interest in bullying other people, trying to get power over other people. Well, what is good about the occult? I think that it extends our ideas of the limitations of the natural world. Uh, it forces us to think that there is something beyond the conventions and the thought of, of our particular time. After all, somebody 500 years ago would be astonished at what we have achieved in the present age.